Imagine one spring day you're walking in a park, and as you walk past a pond, you see a child splashing around, struggling to stay afloat. You look around, but there's no one there. The pond is pretty shallow, but the child is small and will surely drown. You think to save the child, but running into the water will ruin your favorite shoes. But ruining your shoes is not something that you will care about. You're about to save a child. You'd surely do it. When I was younger, I wanted to be a hero. I wanted to save people's lives. I was running into burning buildings and doing all sorts of cool stuff. But as I grew older, I grew out of this fantasy. I realized I may never have a chance to save somebody's life. What does it mean to save a life? Nobody really saves a life. We all eventually die someday. But when charitable organizations talk about saving a life, they most often times mean extending the lives of individuals for 30 years or more. And by giving to the right places, we can save lives in the sense of extending the lives of people for a very long duration. Saving a life may have seemed like a childish fantasy back when we were kids, but in today's world, it's a reality. When you give to a charity, you can help people in need. And when you choose the most cost-effective charities, you can increase your impact by a great degree. Giving one dollar to the most cost-effective charity can produce as much good as giving one thousand dollars to a less efficient agency. For every five dollars that you donate to the Against Malaria Foundation, you can make sure another family gets an anti-mosquito bed net. These nets usually last about ten years and two people can sleep under them. So for five dollars, you can buy others almost twenty years of protection against a disease that kills over a million people every year. Let's say this flower represents a life saved. Think of how many people would be affected by just saving one life. If you saved just one person during your life, that would be amazing already. But what if you could do 10,000 times as much? It turns out you can. If you know about Oscar Schindler, you probably think he's a hero. During World War II, he saved over a thousand Jews from being killed. It's not impossible to accomplish as much. If you give more, and give more effectively, you can make a real difference for hundreds of others. Members of an international society giving what we can have pledged $75 million to cost-effective charities. We realize we can be heroes in our own way without having to make a big sacrifice. My name is Mukund Bangalore, and I give it at least 20% to the world's most cost-effective charities. My name is Constance Lee, and I pledge to donate 10% of my income to cost-effective charities. My name is Yatsanya Leva. I give 10% of my income to cost-effective charities. My name is Tim, and I give 10% of my income to the world's most cost-effective charities that work on eliminating global poverty. My name is Tom, and I donate 10% of my income to the most cost-effective charities. My name is Nick Beckstead, and I give 20% to the best charities I can find. I'm Nick Tourville, and I pledge 10% of my income to the best causes I can find. My name is Boris Yakubchik, and I give at least 50% of my pre-tax income to the most cost-effective charities. Join the movement. Join us. Join the movement. Join the movement. Join the movement. Join the movement. You should join us.